Hey everybody, Tucker Go 60 here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about all the anticipation that happened at D23 Expo this weekend. I did one video talking about Kingdom Hearts 3, which I obviously really excited and proud to say that is my most anticipated upcoming release next year. But besides that, Star Wars and Marvel have plenty of exciting announcements. Star Wars obviously is made for you know the anticipated release of The Last Jedi, which is going to come out this December. And Marvel release perhaps the biggest news thus far the teaser to Infinity War. Honestly, Infinity War has been an anticipated film for the upcoming years. Ever since the first Avengers came out back in 2012, Infinity War has been the most high anticipated upcoming film that any comic book film I ever had been looking forward to. I tr truly am looking forward to Infinity War as well because obviously I really like the Marvel Cinematic Universe films and I can't wait to see all them team up to fight against Thanos. That is going to be a big, big event going going on in that film. The Avengers and the Guardian Galaxy against Thanos, that is going to be a big time event. No matter how many people says says it, it probably won't work, it obviously is going to be a major hit. So. If anywhere is gonna be a huge film next year in May. Not only is it gonna be such if anywhere, but it also gonna be a sequel to that film. So I'm pretty sure part one is gonna end with, with either Cliffhanger or may have a way to fill Ant Man the Wasp and Captain Marvel and then build up to the second half of that film. It's gonna be a major climactic clam film and truly it's gonna be a remarkable third and fourth part to the Avengers film and going from Avengers I have to say this so because I'm very really excited for Avengers Infinity War doesn't mean I'm have to go on and rant and hate about Justice League I am still looking for Justice League so not as much as Infinity War because I've been waiting for Infinity War for longer but I hope I have to say this to myself DC Films has crying up and down lately well they have finally put up with Ren with Wonder Woman but with Justice League I'm hoping they do the same thing and that would be a great thing for the DC film as well honestly Marvel has the upper hand especially for this this best this weekend so without doubt Marvel is, is obviously winning over many people's expectations I hope DC next week on uh, Comic Con they do something not as good but something that would keep people talking and anticipated so whatever plan DC have for Comic Con hopefully they do a good job and hopefully make something that will make people go and appreciate and try to support the DC films I don't think the DC films are terrible I think they're good well not as good as the Marvel films but I still feel they need a bit more push to make the film really good but overall, it's not because I'm looking forward to if any word doesn't mean I'm going to have to go and hate on DC films. I do like both Marvel and DC, but I really hope DC do something just to make their films remarkable. So, overall, D23 has been a fantastic weekend. I mean, I wasn't there, but from all the news updates I've seen, it is going to be a really, it has been having real some exciting news. I'm saying looking forward to last year, that by the end of this year. So that's one film I'm looking forward to the most. Well, among Thor Ragnarok and Justice League. Those three films are gonna be my last big film of this year. So overall, I hope all three of them delivers. So 